you're in that two week wait, you're waiting to see if you're pregnant or not, and you're starting to have symptoms. Is this implantation symptoms or is it just the start of another period? You are going to learn some tips to know exactly what is going on in today's episode of the Baby or Bust Fertility Podcast. Stick around. I'm your host, Dr. Laura Shaheen, a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people trying to figure out these symptoms between trying, whether it is timing trying or an intrauterine insemination or an embryo transfer, and that waiting period to figure out if you're pregnant or not, because it takes time to see if you're actually pregnant or not and get a positive test. And so many different symptoms can come forward and it can just be so infuriating. Just want to know what is going on with your body. Today, we are going to learn all about it and you're going to learn so much about this really important time. If you are in that two-week wait and you need more tips about how to survive this really hard waiting period, last week's episode, episode 105, Surviving the Two-Week Wait, is going to have some more tips for you. But today, let's talk about the symptoms and whether you can figure out if it's implantation or just the start of a period. One of the most common questions that I get, you know, when I'm on call or my nurses get questioned about, hey, I am spotting. It's not time for my pregnancy test yet, but I'm spotting. Is this implantation bleeding or is this just the start of the period? And I can really, really help you figure that out. We're going to go through four main topics. Number one, we're going to go over what implantation bleeding is. Number two, we're going to go over how this is different from bleeding that's from a period or bleeding from even an early miscarriage. Number three, we're going to go over the clues that can help you figure out early what this probably is. And number four, we're going to go over some warning signs because bleeding in early pregnancy can be dangerous and I want you to know when to talk to your doctor. So that two-week wait is really tough. It's the time between trying to get pregnant and waiting to see if you're pregnant or not. So it could be after ovulation and timed intercourse. It could be after an intrauterine insemination or IUI, or maybe it's after an embryo transfer. And it's just conventionally called the two-week wait because a menstrual cycle is on average, typically 28 days long. And ovulation typically occurs in the middle of the menstrual cycle around day 14. And so from day 14 to day 28, when you might get another period, that is 14 days. That is why this is called the two-week wait. In that crucial time, you could be looking for any signs that it is pregnancy coming on, or maybe it's your period coming on, and you're looking at mood changes, breast tenderness, spotting, implantation bleeding, or maybe it's a period. We're talking about specifically something called implantation bleeding. And we got to go back to a little bit about what is going on during this part of your cycle to help you understand. So at ovulation, the egg is released from the ovary and it should get into the fallopian tube and meet the sperm there. Fertilization happens in the fallopian tube and then the resulting embryo. So when an egg and sperm fertilize, it's an embryo. That embryo comes down through the fallopian tube and should implant into the uterine cavity about five to seven days after ovulation. The embryo is a fully formed, mature, embryo called a blastocyst. It's about 100 to 150 cells. And this implantation can also happen after an embryo transfer. So we're most often transferring blastocyst embryos and we're placing the embryo into the uterine cavity where it can then implant. So sometimes when the embryo is implanting, the way the uterus responds and sort of accepts that embryo, the uterine lining can shed a little bit. And if you see spotting or bleeding that is later on, you know you are pregnant, you can look back and say, oh, that spotting that I had, that was implantation bleeding. It really does take time to know and realize if the spotting is really from a pregnancy or from a period. And of course, even if you are pregnant, it takes time to figure out if the pregnancy is going to continue or whether you're going to have a miscarriage. So a lot of this early pregnancy is just 
so much waiting and wondering and time will tell. But in the meantime, there are some ways that you can figure it out. About 30% of people who know that they are pregnant can look back and say, oh, I did have implantation bleeding. This is pretty common in a third of totally normal, healthy pregnancies. So topic number two, how is this different? How is implantation bleeding different from a period or from a miscarriage? Well, like I said, you will know with time. If you have a little bit of spotting and later on you have a positive pregnancy test and you go on to have a baby, you sort of know, okay, that was just implantation bleeding. Spotting is common in pregnancy. Spotting does not necessarily mean it's going to be a miscarriage. But if you have spotting and then later it gets heavier and you have more cramping and you realize, oh, negative pregnancy test, really that spotting was not implantation bleeding. That was the start of a period. And here I've got a period. <sighs> Pick myself up and we're going to try again whatever is right for you. And then of course, if you have spotting and you know you're pregnant, but you go on to realize that the pregnancy is not going to continue, whether it's a miscarriage, whether it's an ectopic pregnancy, just stops developing, then you know, okay, that was a warning sign that maybe this wasn't going to be a pregnancy that was going to continue. So it's all spotting. It's all coming from the uterus. It's all involved with sometimes it's pregnancy, sometimes it's a period, but it's the outcome that tells you exactly what that spotting was from. And I know that that can be really frustrating. We're going to get back to learning more symptoms and trying to figure out this implantation versus period question that is so common. But right now, I want to remind you how important it is to support the show. Wherever you're listening right now, follow the show. That is a really important step to take. And if you have a minute, share this episode with someone that you know is struggling in that two-week wait and could really learn some of these valuable tips could really be helpful and please take time give us a review that helps others find the show five-star review a little bit about why the episode is valuable to you or why the whole podcast is valuable to you so very helpful now let's get back to learning about implantation versus possibly just another period so on to the third topic. Well, what are the clues? Like, okay, Dr. Shaheen, I know you told me I have to just sort of wait and see, but here I am. It's in the two-week wait. I'm having spotting and bleeding, and I need to know, is this implantation bleeding or is it a period? So there are some clues you can look for. There's actually six things that you can look for that can give you some clues. Number one is timing. So implantation bleeding typically happens about six to 10 days after ovulation. So ovulation, fertilization, embryo develops, implants into the uterus. Sometimes that implantation, like on day six after ovulation, can cause a little bit of spotting, but it could take a couple of days for that spotting to happen. Happen, but it's typically early. Period bleeding or a menstrual cycle typically starts about 14 days after ovulation. Now, it could be 10 days after ovulation, could be 12 days after ovulation, could be even longer, like 16 days, but it's typically period bleeding happens a little bit later than implantation bleeding. Clue number two, color. Implantation bleeding is usually light pink and period bleeding is usually a lot darker in color. Clue number three, consistency. Implantation bleeding is usually thin thin, watery, and light pink that I was talking about. And period bleeding is a little bit heavier, darker in color, a little bit thicker consistency. Clue number four, clotting. When you start to see clots and heavier flow, that's a real sign that it's a period. The fifth clue is cramping. Implantation bleeding is usually associated with light cramps, but period cramping can be a lot heavier and more sustained. I know that that is a really relative term. It's very personal. Sometimes it's just kind of looking backwards and saying like, oh, I had a little bit of spotting, a little bit of cramping, and it kind of went away. Whereas period cramping, it's going to turn into a heavier flow. The cramping can be a little bit more intense. And the last clue is the duration of the spotting or bleeding. Implantation bleeding usually only lasts for about one to maybe max three days, but a menstrual flow, menstrual cycle, bleeding, a period will last anywhere from three to seven days. Let's go over those clues one more time. Number one, timing. Implantation bleeding happens earlier than you would expect your period, typically six to 10 days after ovulation. Number two, color. Implantation bleeding is going to be light pink. Number three, consistency. Implantation bleeding is going to be thin, watery. Number four, clotting. No clotting with implantation bleeding, typically. Clotting is usually associated with a period. Number five, cramping. Implantation bleeding can be associated with actually no cramps or maybe light cramps and period 
bleeding can be associated with much heavier or more intense cramps. And finally, duration. Implantation bleeding typically lasts one to three days, whereas a period can last anywhere from three to seven days. So I know it's frustrating when you really want to know, but implantation bleeding is usually happening before you can have a positive pregnancy test. So you're trying to figure this out, and I hope these clues help. So the fourth topic are warning signs. Spotting and bleeding in early pregnancy can be a warning sign of an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy see that implants outside of the uterus. It's most typically within the fallopian tube, but it can be on the ovary or within the pelvis. And an ectopic pregnancy can be an urgent situation. It can be associated with internal bleeding and the need for a surgery to really help that person who is pregnant. And so if you are having spotting and you do end up having a positive pregnancy test, listen, it could be a totally normal pregnancy. A lot of people with a beautiful baby remember having spotting in their first trimester. Bleeding in pregnancy, it could be an early miscarriage, but it could also be an ectopic pregnancy. So it's important to stay in touch with your doctor. In the meantime, if you are in the two-week wait and you are having spotting and you're trying to figure out, is this implantation bleeding a period or miscarriage? I really empathize with you and the desire to know exactly what's going on. The waiting is so difficult. As a former fertility patient myself, I have been there. I hope you found this episode valuable. It is such a tough time waiting, waiting, waiting to know for sure if what you want to happen is really happening or not. And I hope that this is really valuable information and I hope you don't have very many more or maybe not another two-week wait. I hope that your time is coming soon. You can find this episode on my website, drlaurashaheen.com. Other valuable information there, links to my newsletter where you can get updates, weekly content, weekly fertility in the news. You can find my blog post, educational content. I just love teaching and really helping people understand reproductive health. Thank you to my incredible team at Audiotocracy for producing the show. I'm your host, Dr. Laura Shaheen. This is Baby Your Best Fertility. And until next week, wishing you love, luck, and pineapples.